Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an action and mystery movie from 2020 called The Master of Baji. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts in Guangzhou, China, where an old man tells a story about a cruel villain named Jin Tianbo who killed 18 members of one family using his incredible hand skills. A group of young friends and the third master Huang listen carefully. Impressed, Huang gives the old man some money. The friends thank the old man and leave. In the next scene, the friends play in an open field, discussing Jin Tianbo's cruelty. Suddenly, Zhao stands up and claims he will use his Bajiquan skills to kill Jin. His friends laugh at him because he's only read about Bajiquan and never practiced it. Annoyed, Chao leaves to practice more. Shanger follows him. That night, Chao and Chen go to Bong's house for his father's birthday but find Bong's family murdered. Horrified, they search for Bong but can't find him. Chao finds Bong's dying father with a blue-colored needle in his throat. Chao takes the needle to his fourth master Li, who identifies it as Jin's black poisonous needle, deadly within 15 minutes. When Chao asks if Li has seen Jin, Li says anyone who has seen Jin has not survived. The next morning, Huang learns about the murder of Bong's family by Jin. Shocked, he wants to meet Jin. Police officers post notices around the city offering a reward for information about Jin, who has also stolen a valuable item. Chao sees the poster and vows to avenge his friend. That night, three martial artists attack 4th Master Li and Chao at their training club. They manage to fight off the attackers who retreat and report their failure to their scar-faced master. The master yells at them and refuses to pay. Li tells Chao he can no longer teach him due to his limited knowledge. Understanding Chao's desire to master Bajiquan, Li suggests Chao go to another famous teacher, Xuan, who is an expert in Bajiquan. However, Li warns that Xuan does not accept ordinary students. The next day, Chao says goodbye to his loved ones and heads to Xuan's school. After walking for a few hours, he arrives and asks Xuan to accept him as a student. Xuan ignores him and says he doesn't take new students. Determined to learn Bajiquan, Chao stays outside the school for two days, asking Xuan each time he passes by. Impressed by Chao's patience and dedication, Xuan finally asks him to follow and takes him to a secluded place in the mountains. There, Xuan makes Chao do basic chores to test his honesty. The next day, Xuan begins teaching Chao the basics of Bajiquan. He makes Chao carry heavy weights and loads, and throughout the training, Chao doesn't show any restlessness, impressing Xuan. After six months of hard training, Xuan tells Chao to return to town because something has happened to his former master. Chao hurries back and finds out that his fourth master Li has died. People in the town suspect Chao is the killer because Li had abandoned him and sent him away. They also think Chao is connected to Jin Tianbo. Frightened, Chao decides to flee to his old academy where he finds the same needle used to kill Bong's family. This confirms that Jin had killed his master. While wandering around town, Chao meets Shunger, who is very happy to see him. She takes him to her house and shows him her brother Chen, who has become addicted to opium. She tells Chao that Chen has mortgaged their house to pay for opium and now they have nowhere to go. Their father couldn't handle the situation and died a few days ago. Chao comforts Shanger and together they visit their master's grave. Chao pays his respects and promises Shanger that he will avenge all the troubles caused by Jin Tianbo. Chao then returns to his current master, Xuan. He promises to work harder and make Xuan proud. Xuan increases Chao's training, pushing him to his limits. After teaching him everything about Bajiquan, Xuan leaves Chao with a letter, stating that it's now up to Chao to practice and master the skill. Determined, Chao decides to find Jin Tianbo and avenge his master and friends. In the next scene, Chao returns to town and sees gangsters taking Shanger away, threatening her with a knife to pay for her brother's opium debt. Chao intervenes and fights the gangsters but fails to stop them from taking Shanger. He then goes inside the house and is saddened to find Chen lying on the floor. At that moment, the gangsters return and attack Chao. He fights them off and tells them he wants to talk to their leader. Soon, the scar-faced leader arrives and Chao is shocked to see it's his old friend, Bong. Bong accuses Chao of being jealous of their wealth and murdering his family. Chao denies this but Bong says he saw Chao's Bajiquan manual with the murderer who attacked his family. He also claims Chao killed Master Li after learning about his crimes. Chao tries to explain and shows Bong the black needle he found at the academy, but Bong refuses to listen and starts fighting. During the battle, Chao injures Bong, who retreats, promising they will meet again soon. The next day, Chao visits a nearby pawn shop to sell items and gather money to pay Shanger's captors. 
In the shop, he notices a vase similar to the one from Bong's house. He asks the owner about the seller, but the owner refuses to answer. On his way back to Chen with the money, Chow overhears people discussing an upcoming fight competition with a $20 prize. Chow enters the competition wearing an eye patch to hide his identity. Despite this, Third Master Huang recognizes him but keeps quiet to enjoy the battle. Chow wins his first round against a samurai warrior. After the match, Huang invites Chow to his home, gives him $30 as a prize, and asks him to teach Bajiquan at his academy. Chow kindly refuses. He returns to the kidnappers with the money, but they now demand $50 to free Shanger. Enraged, Chow fights the kidnappers and frees Shanger. Together, they destroy the opium stock with fire to prevent it from harming more youths. Back home, Shanger suggests they leave through the window because one of the men Chow fought has recently died. Chow carries Chen on his back and they leave town together, heading to the place where Master Xuan trained Chow. After settling Shanger and Chen in the room, Chow goes to the morgue to examine the samurai fighter's body. He finds the same black needle and the locket that Master Huang wears on his waist. Chow immediately goes to the pawn shop and threatens the owner to reveal who sold him the vase. The owner finally admits it was Huang's servant. The next day, Chow tells everything to Chen and Shanger. The siblings want to help, so when Chow leaves to find Master Huang, Chen runs to meet Bong. At Huang's place, Chen overhears a conversation about Huang's losses in opium and his orders to find Chow. Huang plans to learn Bajiquan with Chow and kill him if he refuses. Meanwhile, Chen meets Bong and asks him to trust Chow, promising to show him the real murderer of his family. At the same time, Chow confronts Huang and accuses him of being Jin Tianbo. Huang laughs evilly, confirming the accusation. He attacks Chow, but Chen and Bong arrive to help. Together, they fight Huang, but the powerful master strikes Bong with a poisonous black needle. Scared, Chen and Chow carry Bong to the medical station, but their efforts are in vain as Bong dies from the poison. After burying Bong, the group returns to the house in the forest. Chow follows the Bajiquan manual and trains hard. After a few weeks, Chow returns to town to watch Huang. One day, he sees something shocking from a window. Huang removes his mask, revealing himself as fourth master Li. Li had never died. He was pretending to be Huang. The dead body found earlier was Huang's. Li notices Chao peeking through the window and throws a needle at him, but Chao dodges it. Li comes out and tells Chao that Jin Tianbo is a character they created. He explains that he, Huang, and Bang's father attacked a wealthy family. Despite getting a lot of wealth, Li felt jealous of Huang and Bang's father, who had achieved more. Li admits he killed them out of jealousy. After saying this, Li attacks Chao, but this time, Chao uses his special Bajiquan techniques and defeats Li easily. Instead of killing him, Chao hands Li over to the police. In the last scene, Chen and Shanger approach Chao and ask about his situation. Chao tells them he found the culprit and nearly killed him. The police arrive and capture Li. Before being taken away, Li hands the Bajiquan manual to Chao and expresses his desire to see Chao become a grandmaster. The movie ends with the old man from the beginning narrating how Chao became a legendary Bajiquan master. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.